Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. What is this weird angle, you may ask? Well, I wanted to take you on a little shopping spree, window shopping for some Halloween decorations. And if you clicked on this video and you're like, what the fuck is her makeup? I did this look over on TikTok, shameless self plug. You can go ahead and follow me on all social medias at NT Lover Ashley. But yeah, I'm dressed up as a pumpkin today and I wanted to look at some cool Halloween shit. So let's go, shall we? Okay, so the main reason I am filming this video is because it's all this. Welcome to the gas side of Target. A little fright and a lot of fun. Explore a one-of-a-kind world where you're free to get your goth on. <laughs> and I was just like, I need to look at this. I know it's not strictly Halloween, but... So I wanted to see what they had. And like, scrolling through here, it honestly isn't bad. There's some really good basics in here. This top, oh my god. And yeah, just some like, nice like, starter pieces. So I just wanted to showcase this a little bit. Because I thought this was cool that they actually like, curated this and everything. Because like, obviously like, the goth target blew up. If you haven't seen what that is, I'll insert a picture. It's basically an old building where they kept the architecture the same on the outside, but they converted whatever it was originally into a Target. And it just looks like a gothic castle with a Target inside. And I think Target really wanted to capitalize on that. <laughs> but let's actually look at Target's Halloween decor because I never really look at that stuff. I don't have a Target here, unfortunately. Actually, all of the stores I'm going to be looking at today, I don't have here. <laughs> Hence why we're online shopping. I'm going to start with all Halloween decorations. Usually I just do indoor um because that's mainly what i'm looking for okay i love this ghost stake pathway that's that's fucking cute i need that <laughs> after i just said i only usually look at indoor stuff this wooden light up haunted house is really cute i would love something like that on like my desk or something got some candles am i the only one that hates the like anatomically incorrect animal skeletons like this one is probably fine there's like flamingos and other birds and just it's a really weird selection of skeleton animals and I'm just not here for it. Same with the yoga skeletons. You will not catch me ever buying those because I don't know. I think they're dumb. I think they're tacky and weird. I'm not seeing anything that's piquing my interest. This is really cool. This like skeleton hand crystal ball thing. I love that. And it lights up. Yes. Honestly, Target's kind of pretty fairly priced for their Halloween decor, which is nice to see. I feel like Michaels specifically can get really kind of expensive with their shit, which we will look at them in a moment. Like, I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I might be shoving my foot in my mouth, but do snakes even have bones? This is really cool. This is something I haven't seen before. A skeleton on a bicycle? That's cute. I like the Halloween decor that could kind of be like year round. Okay, one last look through skipping the fucking skeleton animals. We'll end on this cool color changing liquid skull decorative prop. Oh, that's cool. It looks a little kiddish with like the like confetti and stuff in it, but I think it would still be really cute. Okay, and now let's move on to Michaels. I love Michaels. It's where I bought a lot of my Halloween decor before. Um, but like I mentioned before, they can be overpriced. If you catch it on the, like a sale, either before Halloween or after Halloween, um, it can be pretty affordable. Oh, I really like the Nevermore book. That's awesome. I've been noticing a bigger theme with like this like very girly pink pastel sort of Halloween vibe going on. I am personally not a fan, but I'm not gonna yuck anyone's yum if they really like this sort of stuff. Because I have seen it get really popular within like the last like two, three years. People are really into the whole like very girly, cutesy Halloween stuff. Ah yes, just a wooden moon shelf. I would love this, honestly. This is really cool. I have a couple friends who are like oddities collectors and I'm not like big on having dead animals in my room but I think if I wanted to like fake it and have something like this I would really enjoy having this like on my wall somewhere what the fuck that looks like the thing from Toy Story <laughs> the like amalgamation the kid makes oh my god that's that's terrifying uh-huh scroll right past <laughs> it's not a haunted house it's a haunted home <laughs> oh that's really cool I've been seeing this type of stuff a lot with the with the skeleton body like decoration things I've seen people turn these into lamps definitely something I've either considered doing or buying we love a good candelabra everyone should have a candelabra in their home I've also noticed a similar vibe over the last couple years of just like witchy plant sort of like look like mushrooms and moss and that sort of stuff 
I think that's pretty cool. I could never be a plant bitch though. I would literally kill everything. So, okay, and then we'll do one more page of Michaels and then we'll move on to at home. <laughs> I love this. Please do not use bathroom for demon summonings. Oh, that's super cute. LED string lights that are tarot cards. They're not really tarot cards. Like we got a, we got a snake, a palm hand, and an eye. That's not really tarot, but I'll take it. It's cute. And I've never really seen anything like that. I've seen them do a lot of variations of string lights, but nothing like this. For Michaels, let's end on this glorious cranium poison jar. And finally, we'll move on to at home. I really like at home. I just wish I could actually go to one because I mean I we don't have one here where I live but we also technically didn't have one in Vegas either when I lived there it was in Henderson which is technically considered a town over from Vegas so it always sucked because anytime I actually wanted to go to at home it was a solid 30 minute drive but I do like that you can get this stuff online there's just something really nice about going in person for some reason so far nothing is really catching my eye I like that stuff is pretty cheap but it all kind of looks like shitty plastic that I could get at like a dollar store. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. It's just, it's so many pumpkins. Okay, I like the bat rug. I'm here for the bat rug. I'll take this. <laughs> the colors are fun. For some reason, the colors remind me of Disney. I don't know why. Let's keep a looking. Ah, yes, the inflatable storage bag. If you're from the 2000s, those bags with the jack-o-lantern faces on it. You fill with leaves. You can still buy those, by the way. I went to the dollar store the other day to see what Halloween shit they had. You can still buy those. You can also still buy those that, like, weird, um, fake cobweb stuff. I love that stuff. I'm not too old for free candy. Hell yeah, we're not. Free candy's free candy. Oh, that's cute. I really like this white pumpkin with the bats on it. I wish it was not glitter though. I feel like this would get everywhere. I uh, guess the gnomes. This one's interesting. It's a Halloween gnome tree. That's cute. I've never seen anything like this. Gnomes have like blew up in the last like year or two and I am very here for it. I love the gnome infestation. Man, nothing is really catching my eye. It's giving party city and not in a good way, which is sad because I know they've had really good stuff in the past. Unless it's just the website that's lacking and maybe you just need to go in stores, but <laughs> another gnome. He's a candy corn gnome. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, yeah, I think I've reached the end. We'll leave it on this very cool light up pumpkin haunted house with bats on it. Very cool. I actually really want this. Sign me up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming Halloween shopping with me. Did anything catch your eye that I didn't point out? Are you going to go Halloween shopping yourself this year or have you got enough decor like I do? Last question, are you a year-round Halloween decor person or a only around Halloween decor person? I think it's obvious what my answer would be. But yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I post new videos out every Saturday, so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload from me. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!